This message is very simple, very easy to understand the two ways. The one way, which is the right way, and the wrong way, the evil way, which leads to death. One way leads to life, and one way leads to death. Proverbs 16 and 2. All the ways, look at this. All the ways of a man, look at this. All of his ways are pure in his own eyes. See, we look in our eyes and we see one thing. The Most High sees something different. That's why we have to see things through the lens of the Most High. We have to see things through the scripture and not our own eyes, not our own ways. But Yahuwah weighs the Ruach. He's the one that's weighing us. He's the one that has our deeds. He, ha he has them. Proverbs 17, 23. A wicked man accepts a bride. He will accept money. Bride. Behind the back to pervert the ways of justice. What justice? When the Most High calling for judgment and when someone has to be put to death, the Most High calls this justice. All right, you need an example. Someone does iniquity in the land. The people are operating in the land. The king is over the people. There's a king. Louis there, all of the sons of Jacob are there. Let's go back to that point in time. All of the sons. And then two people has to be, you know what Torah says, one man will not be put to death on the testimony of only one witness. So two people see this wicked person do something. I, 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 I don't mean to call him a wicked person, but he just, he did something he wasn't supposed to do. He's, he's married. A man's married, he slept with another man's wife. He, that's what he did. So that this, the judgment is that one should be put to death. So he said, only these two saw me. I'm rich. I'm going to offer these two a lot of money. And, and they don't say anything about this. That way I live. Yeah, he lived. They get the money. The two get the money. But this is perverting the ways of justice. And what happens? The wicked man... He's going to, he's, he's, he's really wicked now. This wicked man will continue. And this wickedness will spread. And this when Yashara will begin to fall. So this is what it's saying. Wicked man accepts a bride behind the back to pervert the ways of justice. Proverbs 19 and 16. He that keep the most high. Wait a minute. He that keep the commandments keep his own soul. So we're getting we're getting an inkling here. The one that keep his commandment, he keep his own soul. But he that despise his ways shall die. We have people despising some of the ways. And one of the things they're despising is his judgment. We are not to despise his judgment. If he said that one shall be stoned, put to death. We can't start making up excuses. Again, we're operating in the land with all the people. The Torah was meant to be kept in the land. No government in the earth will be over this people. No police force over this people. We got to get that. We used to being governed and having somebody over us, somebody wicked, somebody gunning us down, a police force that hate us, a police force that will call us all type of names, cussing us out. You know, just straight out the clan. They are ruling over us. They're policing us. These are the ones, the ones that hate us. Yep. Not, not this. See, that's, that's something we should, should despise. Not the most high's way. When he says a man that sleeps with a man, a man that lies with a man as he lies with a woman, that man shall be put to death. We can't defend that man. Don't you try to defend that man. You try to defend that man. You're in trouble. Now you are in trouble. You don't say the least little inkling to try to help this man. We have to realize this man is wicked. And according to Torah, the Most High says we have to cut off this wickedness from, out, from around us. So we cut this wickedness off so that it doesn't spread. And believe me, when others see it, they won't do what he did. 
This is the most highest heartbeat. Isaiah 42 and 24. Who gave Yaakov for plunder? How did this happen? Yaakov is, has been given up for plunder. Who did this? Who gave Yaakov for plunder? And Yasharal to the robbers. You see, we're being robbed. This is a deep one here. We are being robbed. Was it not Yahuwah? Yahuwah gave us over to plunder and to robbers? He against whom we have committed iniquity. Here we go. Why? For they would not walk in his ways. This is what happened to us. Curses. Not Baraka. Curses. When you when you turn away from the Baraka, when you turn away from the ways, you turn to the other way, the wrong way. You turn to death and curses. This makes no sense at all. What happened to us? I don't get this. You mean we had Baraka and we chose curse? Nor were we obedient to his Torah. See, the Torah and the prophets, they go hand in hand. They don't speak against one another. But Shaul, he speak against not only Torah, but the prophets also. He misquote Torah. He misquote prophets. And then he add his words to what they said. We can't do that. And if we if we make a point to add to the word, it better be in addition to to make the word still be truthful. It can, we can't match something and take it and make it go out of line. It must align with that word. See what we're reading here? Who gave Jacob for plunder? He didn't give Jacob for plunder. He didn't know Jacob. Who is Jacob? There was no letter J. See what I'm saying? Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Listen to the Most High speaking here. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways nor your ways, my ways, says Yahuwah. My thoughts are not your thoughts. The thoughts you're thinking right now, he's saying that's not my thought. We don't have his thoughts. If we don't know his word, we definitely don't know his thoughts. We have wicked thoughts going on because we grew up in wickedness. And our ways, the way that seemed right to a man, but his end is destruction. See, Shaul had a way. He thought it was right. Says Yahuwah, the only thing the righteous can do is give the most highest word. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. There's a huge difference here. Jeremiah 6 and 16, thus says Yahuwah, stand in the ways and see. He says, stand in the ways. What ways? There are two ways. That's what this message is all about. And I told this all through the scripture. And I only pulled out a few verses. It didn't take me long. I pulled out a few verses here and there. Stand in the ways, plural. Two ways. Stand in the ways. The man that's standing at the road. They're the, they're the ways. And ask for the old path. Notice. Notice. He didn't say, ask for the new path. New covenant. New testament. First century Christians, ask for the new, no, ask for the old. This is in Jeremiah time. Remember, Jeremiah and them, they went off to Babylon. How? Why? Because they went off path. We see this all through the scriptures. So we read Jeremiah. We know Jeremiah was righteous, but at that time, this was the fall. It's time to go to captivity. So even in Jeremiah days, he's not saying look for the new path. Here's something new coming. Nothing new under the sun. Something's new coming that we're going to need. When, the, when Yahushua come back, read Malachi 3. When he comes back to purify the sons of Louis, they're going to be doing offerings again. Wait a minute. I thought Yahushua died there. We don't need offerings because he died and runs for... That's what the Christian churches teach. That's false teaching. They will never read Malachi 3 to their congregation. And so we heard this. It was implanted in our mind and we still believed it. 
to a degree. We believe it. So we should, this is what the Most High is telling you and I. Ask for the old path. Where the good way is. If you haven't asked him for the old path, you won't understand this message. To the two ways. You will pick the way that seems right to you. I see this way and I see that way. I think this way is right. Then you will pick it and walk in it. What way is that? The camps. What way is that? Christianity. So choose the good way. Walk in it. Then you will find rest for your souls. Are our people at rest in Babylon? No. We've been gunned down. We've been hunted just like the scripture says the curses would rest on us. But what did we say? But, but they said we will not walk in it with our actions. This is what we told him. We will not walk in it. Why should we walk in it? Jeremiah 18 and 15. Because my people have forgotten me. They have burned incense to worthless idols. And they have caused themselves to stumble in their ways. From the ancient past. This is what we need to go back to. Not the first century. Not 70 AD. Definitely not Shaul. Shaul is not the ancient past. Forget him. You want to find a way, the right way? Forget Shaul. Go back to the old, the ancient path. To walk in the pathway and not on a highway. Yahushua told us the ways. Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Let's do it again. Enter by the narrow gate. Here's the narrow gate. That's one way. For wide is the gate. Here's another gate. There's two ways. See, it's in the scripture all, all alone. Two ways. Wide is the gate. It's only two ways. One is narrow and the other is wide. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. When you see a bunch of people in these congregations, you see these huge numbers in these camps, you can believe that is not the way. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many. We don't want to see this. Many who go in by it. We have to accept this. These people are not going to be saved. These people are not going to come out of her. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. Difficult. You doing anything easy? Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. That's easy. That's not the way. Most High gave us this. He gave us this. I brought this out before. And there are few who find it. Very, very few. Very few who find it. Ezekiel 18, 29 and 30. Yet the house of Yasharal says, The way of Yahuwah is not fair. We're crying. The way of Yahuwah is not fair. Oh, house of Yasharal. We're saying his way, his judgments, they're not fair. We never stoned anyone before. You're going to expect us to stone someone? It's not in us. We can't do this. That's not fair. You're making us do something. We don't want to watch a stoning. That's barbaric. You see, we're despising his ways. Oh, house of Yahshua Raw, is not my ways which are fair and your ways which are not fair? Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Yahshua Raw, every one according to his ways. Wait a minute. Shaul says it's according to our belief. Did he says, O house of Yahshua Raw, every one according to his belief? No. According to his ways, says Yahuwah, repent and turn from all your transgressions so that your iniquity will not be your ruin. He's trying to tell us how to get back on track. Hosea 14 and 9. Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of Yahuwah are right. His ways are right. And the righteous walk in them. But the transgressors stumble in them. You have just heard the two ways. You have to go make up in your mind which way. Which way are you going to walk in? He told us, walk in the right way. Choose life and not death. But one thing for sure, we know we have two ways to choose from. Shalom.